No! Ouch! What a plot twist! Fight your fears and survive! Hello everybody and welcome back to Resident Evil Remake Remaster. I'm Steve. What sound do turtles make when they're beached? Uh, they sound like fancy headsets, Mr. I'm Moist Outlet. I'm Moist Outlet. And uh, we have one bullet to our name, so I'm afraid I'll have to answer your query when I've got some more bullets and feel safer. What's that? What, you're going to kill some turtles? No! I don't... Actually, out of all the things in Resident Evil, I don't think there's ever been any turtle-based yeah. you know enemies. Because turtles are the sweetest animals in the world. Now, terrapins are <laughs> bastards. <laughs> terrapins are bastards! Fifteen panels! Okay. Yes, James. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, um, I'm just kidding. My uh, friend of mine, uh, Grayson. If you don't follow her on Twitter, go follow her. Uh, Captain Grayson. Um, she's a fantastic cosplayer. Um, she, we don't uh, think that's broken. She has a terrapin. Right, who is a sweet boy? Okay, so there's good, there's good turtles. There are, problems. but most of them are assholes. Okay, so not like that. cats. <laughs> Great start to the episode. I'm, I'm bricking it. I've got a single bullet to my name. And... Well, you know, since the last episode was all about saying fuck Peter, I <laughs> if we, we fuck should, terrapins. We could focus on animals in this episode. Yeah, oh, oh right. that's nice. Maybe animals that give us joy and animals that we fucking hate. Like cows. I hate cows. Why? Because they're evil. You ever, you ever had a half a ton animal running at you? In fact, you ever had a whole herd of half ton animals that run at you? I have. I was behind a seawall where I used to go on holiday as a child and we were just walking along it and we decided to go down the seawall. Yes, guys, we were on the beach and there were some beach cows for some reason. And they just moved at us and ran after us. Oh shit, hang on. They, they just moved. Um, we heard, all we heard, Steve, was the stomping of hooves before they came. They're evil. Okay. Keeper's Diary. Alright, do you remember this? I th Yes, I think I do. It's the, the angry caretaker of the, the animals. Yeah. Play a poker tonight with Scott and Elias from security and Steve from research. Steve. Hey, Steve was the big winner. But I think he was cheating, scumbag. We are not cheating, we're just using the new control. Fuck Peter. One of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skin gorilla. Feeding instructions. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. At around 5am, Scott woke me up, scared the shit out of me too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. Said there'd been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew like I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on holiday. I've been clear I've been wearing the damn spacesuit since yesterday. <laughs> it made me laugh last time as well, I don't know why. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided to feed them today. Screw them. That's not very nice. Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realised some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. Rumours go around that researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy, and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm, and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell's happening to me? Fever gone, but itchy. Today, hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy, Scott. Came ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Itchy. Tasty. <laughs> Callum's going to be disappointed. What? Because at no point did you mention that one time Undertaker threw mankind off Hell in a Cell uh, it, Dead June 1998 Hey, hey, hey It's dead me hey, now Hey, hey, he it's likes dead. it it's Callum likes it That was for you, Callum <laughs> Have fun <laughs> I mean, there's still time Maybe I'll bring it uh, uh, 
There should be panic happening right now. I don't want to move. That shadow's really good, by the way. It is, yeah, actually. Very uh, smooth shadows you've got going there. Um, oh, it's chip. It's, it's, it's either Scott or it's there. Oh, there's a fucking taser thing in there, but I don't need it. It's either Scott or the Keeper. Yeah, that's, that's either Scott or the Keeper. One, I, I may have barbecued the Keeper and then... Oh, I don't know, I'm scared. Well, I think the one on the floor is probably Scott. You see, I think Scott's the one that got stuck in the wardrobe. Yeah, but he said he... <gasps> Fuck, have we crashed? Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay, we're good. Ooh. I was gonna say, look at those dust particles, though. You do love a good. I'm impressed by. You do love a good dust particle, yeah. don't you? Does this seem safe? Is no. this this is? Seems like a a room for. It seems. Oh, uh, there's someone on the window. I just seen that shadow. Did you see that? <laughs> that was pretty neat. I I am a zombie. No, it's Chris. Let me it's in. Zombie I'm Chris. Chris. Aha! Oh, th- does this room seem familiar at all? Yes. Yeah. If you go try and go by there, they're going to slap you silly. So let's resolve this problem. Poison them by putting the bag in the water. Yeah. The entire bag. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even open it. Yeah. Pump the water. We're going to pump it to the red side because if we pump it to the green side, we kill a shit ton of herbs. And that was Woo-hoo! fucking wasteful. They're having a great time. Look at that. Well, Jill's just looking at the herbs. She's more, mmm, that dank. Mm. That dank, though. That dank. Some tasty gerb. Mmm. Uh, oh, you need the yeah the dragon mask. Mm, <laughs> our first one, the dragon priest mask. Will you take the death mask? Yeah, yes, and right. I will wear it. <laughs> no one knew who I was until I put on the mask. No, 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 no. Okay, let's like it. I was shaped by the dragon, molded by it. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was hey, fucking hey. expected. Oh, it turns out neither of you were Chris. So okay, fair enough. Have you asked them? The no. sick- oh yeah, I'll, I'll conduct an There's interview. There's also yeah. a sickle back there, just on the, randomly on the floor. Why are that, we not using these weapons? That would be that would be much more practical than just these like, tiny ornamental daggers. Literally, something is made to sever yeah. things. Is he? He's not dead. Ah. Surely not. Part of me wants to risk the damage and see if we can go for a head squish, but first, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, no, no, he's, he's, no, he's in the he's, old uh, shoulder barge. Okay, now I think he's uh, hashtag almost dead. Let's make him fully dead. Okay. So every single zombie from this point on could be a crimson head? Yes, they have the potential to be. Ooh. And there is a chance they could become. Well, it's a time based thing. Oh, the longer they're sitting there? Or? Mm hmm. Oh. Yeah. Like, uh, you remember the first zombies we met? The, the first zombies I killed, rather. Yes. Not the ones in the graveyard, but the ones in the, near the save room. Yes. If I had. Oh, yeah, I'm just using this key up. I don't actually need to go in this room yet. Um. They would probably be activating by now. They would be crimson heads by now. And I think on hard mode that time is made short. I think it's a time based so, thing based on difficulty. So there's a hundred percent chance that they will be a crimson. Yeah. Okay. Unless you burn them or take the head off. <laughs> if you fuck around long enough, because I'm pretty sure it's time based. Right. And the time windows get shorter and shorter with each difficulty. Now, normal's the only hard it's the hardest difficulty you can get from the off, and then there's hard and then there's real survival, which is bullshit. Real survival is a mode that has a pretentious name, but they are... How do I put this? Item boxes aren't linked. And Ooh. enemies are, I think, like, 0.5 times more durable than they are on hard. Ooh. Oh, shit. An emblem of a helmet. Okay, I can't go in there yet. Fuck. Fuck. I, I need more bullets. You do? Oh, wait! We've got the armor key, haven't we? So we can get... We do have an armor key. We can conduct an interview with one of our former stars members. Um. That. Not Bazza. No, Barry's all right. Barry's he's alpha team. He's, 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 he's not one of these fucking Bravo team. Oh, are, you, are we going to see? Is it Frederico? Fre- Enrico. Enrico. Enrico's yeah. later. Oh, okay. A table a table made of glass. Cl- By the way, worst thing ever to make furniture out of. Just saying, guys. <laughs> don't have glass furniture. You're crazy. Oh, okay. <gasps> it's forest. Oh my god. That's probably the first bit of emotion I've seen on Jill's face. She really is. She got a lazy eye. She's stressed, man. He looks like he's dead for a while. Oh man. Well, Forest, I appreciate. Woo-hoo-hoo. I appreciate this. I kind of. It's a waste. Mm-hmm. It's a waste, but I want to do it anyway. <laughs> Feel like you're trying to. What? <laughs> Something's happening. 
Uh oh, trouble. Now, only in the director's course advanced mode did this oh, occur. Oh, fast. Wow, he died quick. Oh, I guess that was like a crit without the actual headshot then. Unless he's not actually dead. Federico! The forest. <laughs> Enrico and Forrest are two very different people. For example, Enrico is still alive. Dick Cheney! Dick Cheney? No! <laughs> what? <laughs> now, now you're just being silly, Jim. What? 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 Go back to Glass Manager. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're playing. We're playing on a big... 42, no, 50 inch? Uh, it's about it? a 32 inch screen. It's no, not that big. This is not 32, surely. Yeah, I did the ma- I did the measuring a long time ago. Okay, but it's on a glass table stand and it gives me so much anxiety seeing that now because I've just realised. <laughs> well, we've been using it for the entirety of the series, James. <laughs> oh no. So He could shatter at any moment. <laughs> Look at the way he's looking at you. <gasps> Richard. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> what happened? He's cool. You're wounded. We like Richard now. <sighs> this whole place is a killing zone. Uh, there are monsters. Uh, uh, oh. What did this? Uh, I think it's out about time. Poor Dicky. A big snake, and it had to be poisonous. Poisonous, Richard. Hold on. <laughs> bring me serum. I saw some, but didn't bring it. You tit. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Thanks. God, the way those eyes just piss <laughs> through your skull. <laughs> At least she's making eye contact with him. You know, unlike the original game, saving Richard is not a bad idea. Shit, you just opened up the map. That, like, it did that automatically. That just, that just added like an extra three hours onto your end time. <laughs> <laughs> no, only on Remake 2. Only on Remake 2. <laughs> But now, in this game, saving Richard's going to be a boon. Because oh. it gets you a thing. A cool-ass, badass thing. Oh, cool. Where's the zombie? He's on that side now. Cheeky bastard's moved. All right. You little bastard. You best not catch up with me before I finish doing this. Do you remember this puzzle, by yeah. the way? Yeah, because you asked me, what do you think I've got to do here? And I was like, you've you got to push that statue off. Uh, <laughs> you got to push that priceless statue <laughs> Where is he? Now? Oh, okay. He's taking the scenic route. That works for me. Yeah, because this is uh, this is the point where I go. You've literally gone to this person's home and started vandalizing this multi-million <laughs> dollar the home. Occupants. Right? You've killed almost everybody, or you're killing everybody in it, and you're just breaking all their heirlooms. They started. Also, for some reason, you've changed this room from pea green to vomit. Well, no, it's just magnolia. Yeah. So I mean, the damp in this place is fucking horrendous. Can I just say? It is, not yeah. as bad as Resident Evil Seven, but the, that's a different case of damp entirely. The black mold is mm. not good. It's a, it's a very bad sign. Serum. What does this actually say? I want to see. Uh, Serum. <laughs> oh, okay. It's, um, it's El Gog El Goga, Carl Taruto. I don't remember that character I in Naruto. Karakaruto. Nakuna. Is that either Japanese Naku- or it's a nonsense thing? I'm thinking Japanese. Nakuna Chata. Nakuna Chata. Nakuna Chata. Nakuna Chata. What a wonderful phrase. Keeps you poison free. <laughs> For Forever. eternity. <laughs> For an eternity. <laughs> because you'll be dead. Ouch. No, no, Richard's gonna live. He's got this. <laughs> no, Hashtag not, Richard I, has got this. I want to hear him out. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna say ouch, don't worry. It's not just not the way you think it, no, no, no. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Chow. Ouch. <laughs> How? I can't say it backwards. I'm not like Jay and Tom. <laughs> backwards. How do you say ouch backwards? So, no, I don't know. <laughs> Hit you? No, no, no. You, you jest, okay? Hit you? I want to see. I, I might tap Jay or Tom up for their skills and say, "Can you just say ouch backwards?" Because they know it. They can just say words backwards. It would be hoot you, hoot you. Yeah. Steve, play that sound back <laughs> on the edit. It's hoot you, ouch, hoot you, hoot you, hoot you. Or is James just full of it? I, of course I am. <laughs> But please play it back anyway. <laughs> All right, let's save Richard. He needs Ouch! It. Here, Richard. Ouch! Jeez, his arm is fucked. <laughs> oh, it is. It's mangled. Jill, here's my radio. Oh, 
Here's a grenade. <laughs> I don't know where the pin is. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Hello. Does it ever not hurt? Oh, okay. So, yeah. Unlike in the original, Richard does not die from his poison bite. Oh, you can't, he, he just he, can't he, die? Yeah. Well, in the original, he would have died there either way. The, the, getting the serum would have been almost a fucking... Okay, I thought it was going to be something else because he was making a squidgy noise. Oh, oh. Just vomit your Come on, Jill. Take the fucking head out. Man. Oh. These zombie with their tam- tank controls, I feel really bad for them. Fuck. You have no more fire. You have only one bullet. I'm going to regret this. Not as much as this guy. You've, you've only got one Jill. bullet. Yeah, I died. I, I did it though. Yeah, it went. Uh, yeah, but it's still a crimson. You got no more fire left. He's, he's got the potential to be a crimson. This is true. <laughs> I just like the fact that we had one shot, one opportunity, and it didn't waste it. You know, he didn't let chance in a lifetime. And the rest of that Eminem song, I can't remember. You got, you had the opportunity, and you went for it. Bullets? Yes. Yeah. Darst it. Darst it. This room looks a bit different. I mean, More it's the same cutlery. room. You, those should rattle. They should fucking rattle. Hey! Oh! <laughs> the but, size of those ladles on that wall. Yes, that's what we're focusing on right now. The size not, of those ladles. Not, oh. You're out there, bud. Yes. I've only had a few to drink off. Oh, oh, so I did this with you, John. No, I'm not, I'm not wasting bullets on that guy. He can he can just he can ex- examine the table. Uh, if Tom's watching this, yeah, play that backwards. <laughs> Okay, is he just... Oh, he's just... <laughs> dirt, 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 bye. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot. Sorry. <laughs> Stupid zombie. <laughs> ain't gonna get me. I ain't gonna get it. Zombies like have like a minus three intelligence mod in D&D. <laughs> They're, not... They're really dumb. And, and they have awful dexterity as well. So what you're saying is they'll be very difficult to RP. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, not difficult. Probably the easiest, since you don't really know. What, uh, uh, what do you do? Can I walk towards them and bite them? Itchy. Tasty. I love that we just walk by an itchy bitch. <laughs> yeah, leaving zombies all over the place. He's fine. He's, he's just resting. He'll be fine. He is going to make it. Mm-hmm. He is going to have a bright, shining end yeah. to his story. I need more inventory space, so I'm going to go in here. Secret door! So the um, so snakes and reptiles in general, they can do this thing where they... What was that? Oh, it's just leaves, right? Mm-hmm. Um, they can do this thing where they uh, like bite something. Let or the, they snap their neck let, or they break the jaw. The, let the wounded fester. And then when the prey is weak, a couple of days later, they'll come back and eat them. Wait, so the wound... It's actually Komodo dragons that do that. They their mouths are so full of bacteria that they will just bite you and then will chase you. Just chill out. Just kind of chill. Okay. Chill, like chill, chase you for like two days, maybe, maybe less, until you're weak, and then they go in for the kill. I assure you, in the Far Cry games, that is total bollocks. They will not stop. They cannot be reasoned with. <laughs> they will just keep biting at you well, until I mean, you die. Komodo dragons can't be reasoned with. I mean, have they spoken to one? I wonder if they're Komodo- called Komodo dragons. Surely a, Kom- a Komodo dragon seems like the kind of, like, would be a really good choice for a BOW. It would, yeah. You know, it would. I mean, we've seen secondary infectants that are fucking crazy. This one: giant millipedes, scorpions, frogs, earthworms, uh, earthworms, yeah. fucking millipedes. Uh, crazy. There are some fucked up things. Mayflies. I wonder if mantises... And dragonflies. Would mantises be... They'd be fucking horrible, wouldn't they? They'd be pretty horrible, but I consider, like... Mm. I would say the, um... Uh... So many things. Who's drop... Alfred's sister? Alexia. Alexia. Kind uh, of a dragonfly. She, ironically. She is a dragonfly, um, but she also has mantis kind of... Tendencies. <laughs> mantis, uh... Mantis... <laughs> mantis tendencies. I don't know why I'm like I have a pair of tits... No, um, she has like the appendages of a mantis when she turns into a like third in a, in a final form. Yeah, uh, but yeah, it would be pretty sweet though to see that kind of stuff. All right, buddy, how you doing? Woo! Oh, okay. So it's yeah, it'd be interesting to have for them to go a little bit wild with 
Well, they, they, could, they could go a lot more wild with some of these games than they have done. If we ever do the Oh, hey, it's the tiger! Yeah. What's it going to give us? Something good or something meaningless? If we put the red thing in, this gives us the magnum, right? Not in this one. Oh, okay. we'll get the magnum a bit sooner in this one. That's right. nice. I'll take it. It's not what I wanted, but I'll take it. Um, yeah, if we do ever do the Outbreak games, there's a lot of secondary infectants in that that are kind of interesting. I mean, obviously, you've got your spiders and stuff, but there's a zoo. A zoo? A zoo. Ooh. There is a zoo level, and they literally go to town. There is, like, toucans, elephants, lions, hyenas. There's Tigers a lot of fucking bed. stuff. Can I get in here before you bite me? No! 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 Get Why the fuck out of me? me! Why'd he bite me? I'm sure she'll be fine. <laughs> She's not going to be fine, though, is she? She's going to be cautioned. Ow. Fine. Whoa. We are fine. Fucking hell. No damage. Hashtag no damage run from this point onwards. I'm lying. <laughs> that's, that's totally fucking happening. I'm taking damage before this game's over. All right. All right. We don't need to... Uh, there is a came here. So a, drop shit off. And okay. I think it's time to put the pistol away for a little while. Okay, what are we bringing out? We are... We are... We are... We are going to get... Yeah! So you know what that means. Everybody in the comment section. What? Hmm? <laughs> Look at everything you're bringing out. Oh. What does this mean? What is this precursor? <laughs> what does this indicate? Could Steve be perhaps preparing for something? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just... So what? So uh, every, everybody who's watched the original Direct Scott or has played Resident Evil 1, right, will know What's... that shotguns are far superior against... The snake boss. <laughs> yeah, because of the spread. Because of the spread. To be honest with you, in this one, the snake's kind of... I'm not even going to say it, because I'll be tempting fate. Yeah. You've already had a taste. Fuck you. Why? But now, the, you can take the snake on with a knife in this. A knife? Yeah, if you... It's easy with Chris, obviously, because he he's got a little bit more range, but with him being a slightly larger framed fellow. But... Mm. Excuse me. I like that, by the way. What? I like that... Um, with larger models, there's better range, like reach, stuff like that. But it's also faster, which is a bit unfair, because you'd have thought the small. Oh, I don't fucking know. I would have thought Jill would be faster, but she's not. No, Jill's it's already got of those fucking shoulder plates. Yeah, she's got shoulder plates. She's got better armor. She's also got better guns, though. So I suppose it balances out. Low health, better guns, bigger inventory. Chris has got faster speed, bigger health, and a strange brummy accent from time to time. <laughs> But unlike a certain other female member of the Stars Bravo team, <laughs> you know, the waifu for life, be Rebecca Chambers. My baby, Moonlight Sonata. Okay. Jill took piano lessons. Did she? Yes. A cunning. A piece. cunning plan. Oh, that's nice. Well, at least with every key, every key press, her boobies aren't going up and down. Yeah, this isn't DOA. <laughs> That's not that our life. I know you all just looked at her boobies then. <laughs> oh, God. I made him. I made him do it. <laughs> well, the flipping canvas convo corduroy trousers with like three belts. <laughs> all the belts. No, I think one's like the belt. One's the hip pouch. Is there a reason? Like, is there any kind of story reason why she has humongous shoulder pads? I think it's just the uniform. Oh. Trevor's diary. Um, Trevor. This would be a backstory that was left out in the original game, but added back into this one. Is and this a man? This is a man. George Trevor from 1967. Whoa! So That's a year after my mum was born. Uh, <laughs> not to strangely date the video. Um, November 24th, 1967. 11 days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did I come to end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a meagre plate of food and said, Sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion. Sir Spencer and myself. Ooh. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person that knows the secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family, I hope they are alright. I've decided to escape. Jessica... Lisa, I pray you are safe. November 26, 1967. How could I be so careless? I lost my favourite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be that much harder to escape this dark place. November 13th, the date when my fate was sealed. The aunt was, my aunt was hospitalised. 
hospitalised, sorry, I can't say that right, just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said they were going to visit her. I wish I could be with them. But wait, even as I'm writing, my memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men in the lab coats said something like, most likely your family is already. I pray for their safety. One year and nine months after my mum was born. <laughs> November 27th, 1967. Somehow, I managed to get out of that room. But getting out of this mansion won't be easy. I have to get all past the booby, pa- uh, booby traps. Boobies. <laughs> Tiger eyes. Gold emblem. I have to try and remember for my own sake. Okay, so we didn't. <laughs> oh, well, uh, dearest George... He was the architect of the mansion, and as a result, he knows the in and outs of the place. So if anyone's going to make it out, right? Okay, it's going to be Joe Valentine, <laughs> who just came here with a few Inst- other instantly stars. knows. <laughs> she, she's, a, she's a member of the stars. You watch it. St- Special tactics and rescue service. It's on the back of a shirt. I'm not looking at the back of his shirt, am I, Steve? Uh, no, you're doing a Barry Burton. Just... <laughs> I'm doing the old bazaar. Yeah, just staring intently at the boobies. Right. Yeah, I'm leaving. <laughs> that door was rattling, I don't like it. Mwah! He was giving the old Reaper treatment. <laughs> <laughs> Why did Mass Effect have to die? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, man. Okay. Now you made me sad. Yeah, well, the important thing is... <laughs> I hopefully ain't gonna die. <laughs> That's the important thing. That's probably the. Wow, I'm not gonna go that uh, far. Anyway. A picture of two knights striking each other. The short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight, while the long sword has pierced the head of the other. Hmm. Hmm. What? What, what has short and sh- and long things? A clock with its hands. <laughs> Could this perhaps be a puzzle? We need to shove the short sword into the chest. Forsooth. What, forsooth? For, what was Forsooth? Did we do it? Yes! Well, do something then. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> what a rip. In the original, right? In the, in the original Resident Evil. Ooh, you just put my glasses on. In the, in the original Resident Evil. Actually. That. Stopped ringing. Ouch! It's gonna be a big fucking ouch in a minute, boy. I just realised I've not equipped a gun. We'll be fine. No, we're not though. You need to fight a snake. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about or where you get these ideas from. <laughs> I have a memory, sir. Uh, d- <laughs> oh wait, I want to be using the grenade launcher for this. Okay. I'll make much more sense. I'm using the acid rounds because I'm so. Um, well, I suppose they'll do a number on hunting. You mean the cans of fizz? Yeah, the can of fizz. You'll make better use of it. It's sure to yellow and mellow those things. <laughs> Sorry, Barry? Barry? When he like said that, I thought, is he just giving us like a, a can of seven up? <laughs> yeah, yeah, fire that at them. That'll yeah. fucking deal with you. Hey, this is your, your, your best friend, Forrest's gun. I hope you don't feel any particular emotion about that. <laughs> Oh, just now. Nah. Jesus, it's fucking hard, man. You gonna say anything? I'm okay. Oh, the others. There we go. I'm okay. The others. There's, there's a thing I remember now about the original Resident Evil remake on the GameCube. When you played it at 50 hertz on the European version, the speech was slowed down. Oh. Oh, thank fuck! I thought he was alive. They actually the. The game, I suppose, because it, it was running slower. They actually did speak a little, like you know. That's a shabby door. Sorry. We need to search for the lost captain and Wesker. <laughs> Wesker. Oh, this is a familiar room. Whoa! He looks cool, right? Yeah. You're much cooler than the other one. Holy shit! Or do something. Holy shit. My man! Ouch! A fucking moon! Right, okay. Jesus, it's fucking huge. I have no idea where it is. Yeah, death mask! Oh shit. It's coming after you. Oh shit! Oh, oh shit. shit! Wait, has it eaten Richard? 
missing now. Oh, I've missed with every other shot. Wasteful, Steve. Waste! Nope, he's still there. Somewhere. Yeah, Richard, hey! my boy! My boy, he did it! He fucking got his revenge. Fuck you, Cobra! Thanks. I'm pretty sure that's an anaconda, but... It's a mixture between a python and a cobra. No! It's, it's got a crest. No! Ouch! What a plot twist! Holy oh, shit! Nom, 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 nom. It's okay. You're gonna fight it from inside. He's got like a dagger or something. Yeah, see, look like it's got a crest, like a cobra. It actually s stands up like a cobra as well, but it's I. It's a mixture of both. Right. You are. You are fucking big. <laughs> what? You can't carry any more items. No. Oh. Bastard. Um. Ouch. He's causing a fucking. Um. He's causing us a minor setback, but we needed that. I'll take it, even if we need to go fucking kill our poison now, you fucking fucker. Are we fuck. not saving Richard? Richard's dead. But his legs were wriggling he's as he dead. went inside. James is dead. No. James the man is dead. No, he's not. Don't mock his memory, he's dead. Am I poisoned? Huh? I hmm? need serum. Bazza, old Bazza. He'll help you out. Depending on whether you save Richard or not, and where you encounter Barry, he can. But in this particular case, no. Fucking do it yourself, Jill. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We'll be fine. We're going through that whole chemistry thing again. Oh, no, it's not quite that. Hey, buddy. I do not recall inviting that, man. We are poisoned. <laughs> so we need to get to the other side of the fucking building. You just let Richard die. I did not let Richard die. You just let him die. He died for us. Nope. He shoved Jill out of the way in what I might add the only 3D rendered background in the entire game. The actual camera moved, you know, and went under the whole thing. Jazz noises. Yeah. Wait, jazz noises are more of a tuba, like on. Yeah, like, like, it's like you're casting fireball. I feel bad for everyone who's watching this looking for a serious fucking playthrough. I think I say this every series. <laughs> If you're here looking for a serious playthrough, please leave. <laughs> oh, that's not very nice. Right? This is, we, are, we are not taking this seriously, but kind of we are. We're, we're enjoying the experience, but the same token we are enjoying the experience. Because we're, we're, we're enjoying it from two different viewpoints. Mm -hmm. Like, you from the nostalgic viewpoint. Yeah. And me from the brand new, like... Just, Most out of viewpoint. Just like a brand new blank template, you know. I'm viewing it through my eyeballs. Does that one ever get up? I mean, he's still there, so mm. yes, I think he will. If we're going by, uh, I'm just—I think he's like on a longer clock, if you know what I mean. I even picked up extra ink ribbons just for you. Thank you, Steve. You haven't saved yet. Yeah, I fucking did. I killed the snake. Well, I, what? I no, you haven't saved. Will you take the sodium? We're fine. Fine. <laughs> we're fine. No, what else do we need to do? Oh yeah, now I remember. Not die. <laughs> we'll take the mask back. We've got, well, we've got one in the bag. When there is the bag. I know where the other two are. Right, okay, yeah, we got this. We got this on lock, boy. We got this. Okay. Ain't no problem now. No zombie's gonna get our way. I don't know why I'm talking this accent. I'm sorry. Not really. <laughs> it, you mocking me, boy? It's an interesting symbol they have on that door. Right, let's get Jill tops up. There are green hairs going here, but there's only enough for... Uh, uh, and have we got any more? The oh, okay, so we've got another yeah. use. That's going to be handy when the... Sweet. <laughs> what are the random moths they have around here? Yeah, it's there's a lot of fucking dinky bugs in this forest. Wait, okay, yeah, it's a forest. Never mind. Praise the moth? Hashtag praise the moth. God damn it. <laughs> I'm reminded of the moth. See, in this, they added a new enemy. In the remake, they just took stuff out. I mean, I get why they did. They, they kind of didn't mesh with the aesthetic they were going for of the realism and stuff, but... Yeah. Damn it, I like the moth. <laughs> and I like spiders. I mean, I like the G-mutants being a regular enemy more than I like spiders, but... The spiders, I think, was the thing that shocked me the most. Oh, fuck. Because spiders have been pretty much a staple. Yeah, they're, I think they're in... I don't know if they're in every Resi game, but they're in most. They're not in, like, Resi 4 and stuff, but... Oh. Does this room seem... Oh, yes, I remember this room. Used to be you'd push like some giant statues onto vents, but now you push some statues onto vents. Interesting. Interesting plot twist. Shit, do that one last. Um, 
Look at those weapons. You see, if Jill had any wherewithal... But I say this a lot, every time we see... Fuck, that's the first one! Then this is the second one! Oh, God. Couldn't have made this any longer if I tried. It's okay. <sighs> I'm... I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Just go back. Go back, you fuckers. Right. To those... Woe to those who disturb my sleep! There's a switch here. Will you press it? Yes. Into the... Barcelona? Au revoir, Solemne? I can't read that. Solemne. Guess that's Latin. Diablo. I can see Diablo there. In the right in the middle, maybe. Mm. The... Give us another scan. Make sure it's clear for us. Enhance. <laughs> hmm. Will you press it? Oh, that's so, one of the uh, the things for the gate, isn't it? Ah. Uh, the stairs, maybe. Oh wait, no. Right. Sadly not. No, it's a jewelry box. Jewelry box. There's a switch. switch. Will you press it? Yes. Where's the switch? Will you press the switch? Yes. Oh, it's a mess. Oh, that's that's three. <laughs> now we only need one more. And I remember everything. I remember how to get out of this dismal I'm, hole. I'm the master of the universe. J- no, he is. <laughs> he, he, he startled me. <laughs> I'm going mad, James. I'm losing my mind a little. You should be. You're doing very well. Oh, thanks. But right now, all we've got left to do is a little bit of light puzzle work, and then we're out of this fucking mansion. You yeah, you haven't died. No, I haven't. Why do you bring that up? <laughs> because I think it's about time that I tempt fate, since you do it every fucking episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, so... Have I come to the Also, the music just starts. At the perfect Yeah, hour. thank you. This is the fucking guardhouse music. Isn't it? Spooky. I, I mean, I don't know. All the music in this is not, a remix of the can original. Can you not ding-dong that green box? I could, but I'm going to save it for later. I'm trying to... I'm, I was rationing my inventory space. All right. Because I've realised I could have done a silly. Okay. You use a lock... Oh, you need a fucking key for that? Okay. Boy, Chris is getting you. What do I need to do? What do I need to do? Think. And yeah, you said you like Chris's... Whoa! This is chemistry time. Yeah. Oh, oh no! It's, it's, we take the lure of a bee. A selection of insect specimens. There's a switch. Will you press it, please? No. No. Oh. Will a you hook. take the fish hook? A hook. Various types of fish hooks. Blast! What the? F- <laughs> We're solving puzzles, James. Okay, sure. Will you take the bee specimen? Yeah, it looks like a wasp to me, though, not a bee. Sorted fishing lures. This is not a fucking hornet. What the fuck did you Ter- just do Tarantula that? hawk. I mean, look at this thing. There's nothing unusual. That is unusual. definitely a wasp, not a bee. There's nothing unusual. What do you mean? There's nothing unusual. How did you just combine it? It's a giant bee, specimen for mounting. It's well preserved. Remember, James, there is nothing unusual about that bee. What is going on? You just combined it with gold and a hook. No, I can't. There's a fish hook bee, and then there's a f- specimen of a bee. Oh, right. Okay. Researchers will. Dying researcher voice. Are you ready? Uh, okay. A letter slipped inside. The top part of the letter is torn off. The rest of the letter is legible. He wrote that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alma? Oh, Alma, that's in Dark Souls. Alma's fucking... Alma is via. Alma is in Dark... Yeah, Alma is a player in... A player catcher. Okay. Um, Alma, I have tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts only delayed the inevitable. I am infected. There is no cure for what will follow, except to end my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them. My love for you. In an hour, I'll have entered my eternal sleep where there is peace. Please understand. Please know that I'm sorry. Martin Crackhorn! Crackhorn! Oh, yeah, because of course it's the fucking damaged one. There's a full version and there's the abbreviated version there. Okay. So that's... Okay, it's a perfectly normal specimen of a bee. Yeah, sure. Let's press that. Yeah. Normal specimen. That's the first one of those. We're gonna get another four of them fucking things to get out of the house. Wait, this is Resi remake, not that we're... Um That was in your pocket, Jill. Um Ah, gross. I feel take the gross. Wind, the wind crust. You. 
Okay, that's fine. Do, do, we, have to, be, do we have to go back in that room? No. Okay. Fuck that bee. It can stay there fuck forever. The, the bee wasp. <laughs> yeah, wasp. Fuck, fuck the wasp. Wasp. The wasp. Wasp. The wasp. Wasp. Oh god, I sound like an Adventure Time character. <laughs> I've still not watched that and I need to. Oh. Huh? I see that. What the fuck? What did you see? Oh. I, I left you some bullets. bullets in the room on the right. Feel free to use them if you manage to get yourself in trouble. Barry. Thanks, Bazza. That is clearly not Barry. <laughs> that signature is way too big to be Barry. That's clearly Albus Dumbledore. Yeah, that's clearly Albus Dumbledore. <coughs> Martin Benedorm. Are you okay, dude? I've got like a tickly cough. Do you virus? I don't know where that's come from. Are you feeling bitey? Uh, no, but well, I'll let you know if I'm feeling a bit itchy. Okay, as long as you don't find me tasty, that's fine. I mean, I always find you tasty, Steve. Oh, now you're making me blush. Yeah, it was meant to be creepy, but all right. He went. Oh, <laughs> he is making me blush. <laughs> itchy, tasty. What do I? What do I need, Gim? Uh, well, where are you going next? I should probably keep that with me. I'll keep everything. Okay. <laughs> Maybe a bit overkill. My brain is going, you need this, 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 and this. And, and I'm like, you, why? You've not used your shotgun once yet. You're right. Is there a reason for this? Yes. The doorknob looks like it's ready to fall apart. Go through anyway. <laughs> In so, about two. So leading. Yeah, if you go through this door like three times, oh, the handle breaks. Oh, well, that's a bunch of bollocks, isn't it? Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker. Now, that doesn't normally happen. Nine times out of ten, you can't decapitate with this gun. No, well, no. It's more like every third... You... It just has a higher crit rate, this. Yeah. It doesn't happen. Obviously, uh, it'll still take... It'll still kill them, but it won't necessarily decapitate them. What was that? That was a crow. Oh. Was it? <laughs> they... The title is written as follows. Bring the light of truth to the three spirits. Okay. So there are three windows. Oh wait! Oh, that is. It's this. It's the main crow. It's the most important crow in all of Resident Evil. Do you know why? Because it's on the box art of the original. Oh, and Deadly it? Silence. Right, look at the old Resident Evil box art, specifically the Japanese ones. There's always a giant fucking crow looking all creepy and fucking gross. Caw! 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 Right. So, basically, the gist of this puzzle is: Lisa, protected by the three spirits, a picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace. And a crown. There's a switch at the bottom of the picture. Press it. No. We need to make the colours that correspond to these to be the matching of that. So this, uh, he's got the necklace. I believe he needs to go purple. Yep. Okay. There's, there's a switch on either side. It'll be a filter. Right. And if this is wearing a crown, which will become just in the green. Early, just in the early years of Instagram filtering. Yeah, very, you know, straight colourised. Wearing a bracelet, necklace, and a crown. And she's <laughs> definitely used the beautify filter right there. Lisa. Oh, she's beautiful, mate. Lisa's beautiful. You're going to fucking love her. She's beautiful. Yeah, she's beautiful. You will remember her. Okay. Yeah! I'm, I don't mean that shitty picture. I don't mean the real Lisa Trevor. Okay. Yeah, she's uh, she's hard to miss. <laughs> what are you saying that? No, I mean, you, you, you'll understand. You'll I'm, all understand. Yeah, I'm sure I will. I'm just scared now. <laughs> More moths. Yeah. So, All right, so we're going to see who's in this coffin. Is it Lisa? <laughs> I'm not the same. <laughs> it is. It is Lisa. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Whatever's in there is bleeding profusely. Oh, that's a lot of blood. For a corpse in a casket. Surely it would have dried up by now. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Let's see if use this. Finicky hey. ass. Bacoof. Last one. Douche. I'm not a douche. Douche! Now this... Seems this, fine. Seems fine. Yeah, this is totally normal. I can't imagine what's possibly in this death casket. Ooh, shotgun shells. <gasps> oh, uh, it's a claw zombie. It's... it's. Uh, this is the quote-unquote Crimson Head Elder. Elder? Yeah, it's like the, 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 the longest Crimson Head we've had. Oh. Oh, 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 No iframes for you, buddy. Uh, <laughs> don't die. Stop him in the face! Bam! Nice. Is he dead? No. Yes. Maybe? Yes, no, maybe. I think he's dead. Music, stop. 
Oh, that's a relief. Okay. At least on my side, anyway. Yeah, no, he's dead. He's dead. That was our first not... New boss? New, was your first new boss. Okay. Okay. Will you take the stone and metal object? Yes, yes. I fucking will. Now, we could, later, sir. we could use that under the stairs. Would be probably a bad idea, as we'd be stuck forever wondering where the other fucking one is. So, we're going to go out the mansion. Okay. Does that sound like a tactical Yeah, move? I mean, like... Let's leave this pro- place. Like, game progress is yeah. pretty important. Yeah. I mean, Jill, bless her, she's been very stoic about this entire thing. Very... I am Jillbot9000. <laughs> Beep boop, look at my bug eyes. And I will kill everything. No, I still like Jill in this. I, I, I mean, I... Characterization wise, Jill's had the most personality and character in Resi 3, and I hope that carries over into Remake 3. If they ever do a third remake. Oh, yeah, they're gonna do one. But with the with the success of RE2, mm. right. Are they better anyway? Mm. <laughs> and I, and I, I don't want it to be the same as RE2, but because I think they only do a distinct kind of feel to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I can agree with that one. I mean Oh, well, this place looks a lot different and still some oh, of this is up. when the hunters come. Hey! Bam, We might need that later. Yeah, when we come back. Fireborn will remember that. <laughs> hmm. Okay. First day spray! First day spray! Oh yeah, the first day spray Sorry, podcast! Too. I haven't mentioned that in a good no, while. No. Yeah, you should all go listen to it. We're going to be talking about the board game if we haven't already. <gasps> Which is cool. We've already discussed the death, I think, at and length, Resident Evil 2. And I've still not played it yet. The board game. Well, I do have a guy who's on to painting them up so we can put them onto the YouTube channel. Woo! And have a proper full-on set of campaigns. Exciting! So if you want to see their progress and how they're being painted, check out Artificer on Facebook. Oh, look at me just shilling everything. Artificer. I'm sorry. Artificer is his name. I think it's a Warmer 40k thing. As much as I would know, all right. In case you're wondering, these weather veins. Oh, never mind. Plot. These weather veins. Barry. Oh no. Sorry, Bazza. Barry is in trouble fighting a monster that cannot be killed through conventional arms. So yeah, I'm kind of skipping a bit to cover in piss here, but these weather vanes are solving a puzzle for me. They are for some reason tied to some statues down the way. Have I got it right or have I got it wrong? That's big wrong. A wrong. Come on. Genius. He's done it. I've done it. How command. I command the weather vane skills. What does this say? Don't never mind. It doesn't shit. matter. Yeah. This is relevant to our needs. This is a gate. That's a broken gate. <laughs> you could probably have. Oh. I forgot about you guys. I have no idea if running. I hope that walking slowly does not aggro these guys, because I need to solve a puzzle before we can finish this fucking episode, because I realise we're a bit over time. We are a bit, but it's okay, because we're going to treat ourselves to a nice, oh, look at that. sick, badass thing. Crests, plural maybe, are fitted. Yep. Give me all of them. That Crest. was easy. We get Crest. one, we get three. I ran. Well, yeah, but yeah, they, they, they love the hidden thing is on a thing there in this one. Two projecting lines. Okay, so two lines plus. It took us a little spin as well. Yeah. Like something... So two plus three. Resident Evil Five was the next game to be released. No, it wasn't. It was Resident Evil Four. <laughs> Don't be stupid. It's warning us about Dino Crisis 3. I'm oh not no. sure how. Oh no. Ooh! Well, we have a fucking Magnum, boy! Wait, so Bazza put his weapon here? No, it's a different one. You can get Barry's one if we do a stupid thing we're not going to do. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, but who would make that? I just. Just crows! Crows, leave it alone! We got it! We're fine! We're safe! You're gonna be totally safe. There's no immortal death monsters in these woods. Crows now! We are still on court. That's a chained monster thing. That, that's a reassuring sound. That's a that's a woman. 
it could be. Um, do you? Which it could be. That was definitely a woman. I want to ask you a question now. That's a forest. Yes. In comparison to Resident Evil Zero, where do we think the visuals lie? Do you think Zero is stronger, or do you think this one's stronger? Uh, oh, do you know what? It's weird with this because some rooms are like really like this looks beautiful, mm -hmm. right? But then there's other rooms in this that look a bit washed out, like watercolory. Yeah, and I'll, whereas in Resident Evil, everything looked pretty polished. Mm. Like, I, I wonder if that's a profit, uh, a side effect of the upscaling for the remake. Oh, maybe. As in the, the remaster of the yeah. remake. Yeah, so, yeah, RE0, the backgrounds look better. Um, Pumpkins? Pumpkins? Hmm. Onions? Uh, onions? They were onions. What are you doing in my swamp? <laughs> Will you take it? Hmm. You got the map of Courtyard. Okay, so this seems like a very safe and not at all a scary place to be. <laughs> And therefore... Oh, welcome to Resident Evil 7. Jesus, you know now you mentioned it! <laughs> All right. Oh! We haven't actually been that way yet, but good, good thing I came here, actually. Anyway. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so this is episode two of Resident Evil Remake... <laughs> it's an episode two of Resident Evil Remake Remaster. I've been Steve. And I've been my style. Tune in next time to figure out what the hell that was. Bye! Bye! Oh, family picture. <laughs> We'll do that next. It's just a picture. Do you want to laugh someone? Uh, Daddy attached, mum attached second. Inside red and slimy. White and hard. Not true mum way. Don't know dad found mum again. When attached mummy, she moved no more. She's screaming. Why? Just want to be with her for mum way. I miss yo. And on that note, bye! Bye.